Well, today looks like we got a sofa in the basement, end table, and some other things. So we'll see how we do on this job and see if I can get you guys a video. Okay, this stuff right here? Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, so we're talking, so this stuff that's uh, outside of these boxes Yeah, right outside here. the boxes. Yeah. For labor, not a whole lot, like probably 50 bucks, but it's uh, the material that I need to, so probably 7500 So, okay. So, somebody's going to buy $500. Safe to get you. Yeah. You can't see what I'm saying the braces are broke. So you gotta take that box. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll just take that in separate pieces. Yeah, yeah. Okay, anything else we should be cautious about? No. It's all good, right? Yeah. Okay, no problem. This, this, we'll get that. Stuff here. Yeah, this okay, we'll do the freezer first and then we'll yeah. put that in there. Okay. Uh, things back on. No, I'll turn it back off. Oh, okay. Stairwell down. I just gotta take a picture where the uh, couch was there. Now it's not. There we go. Yeah, got to put it in uh, each job. Oh, I see. Just kind of finish it off. We were able to get that uh, couch out of the basement. I couldn't really get footage of the couch down in there beforehand, but uh, we had to bring it up a straight flight of stairs. We had to take the feet off the couch, get it fit up there. But we did it and got that out for her. And uh, Logan uh, has a nice couch now. There we go. That's the bed. Ottomans downstairs. Yeah, right here. Washer down here. Have a washer as well. They they removed the washer. Oh, they yeah. did. Okay. Yeah. And that's the ottoman. Yeah. That and looks like all... something. Did you make that? No, but I bought it on Zoo Lily, and I loved it. And then I just saw all. This. Yeah, it got some. Uh, there must be moisture in the carpet. It's here too. It looks like. All right, we got it. Uh, the bed and the. Uh, got an ottoman and whatnot and so we will see uh, if we get another pickup I don't have any right now but uh, with taxes and with the weather turning around here and looking nice I think uh, probably get another call or two so anyways yeah we just got another one of those calls a city call uh, where the city has contacted them and told them that they got to clean up their yard or they're gonna um, get penalized so uh, we're gonna go out there and check it out sometimes you know it's debris all over the yard and we got to pick it up but we do help with that all right we just showed up at that house we're gonna go in there and see what we can do here so the wind blows everything great shot to the truck so that should be fine I thought I was being smart by having all these cans and I was gonna just well come on yeah oh, in bags and uh had them all bagged up the okay. squirrels jumped from the trees yeah on, and their claws tear them open because of plastic bags okay so okay so here's okay so we better get these yeah. are we got some more back here yeah that, that, that's the main thing okay okay now i used to own a store and the guy didn't keep up the uh code violations in the store. All right, so we went out there and, you know, after a long discussion, she's going to discuss it with her husband. And, uh, you know, she originally told us that she didn't even have that much. I don't know if you guys saw that yard. <laughs> that was uh, that was like a hoarder's yard. And it was really, uh, there was a lot of stuff. And uh, they really need help. They, they can't afford that much, and I get it, but there's no way. I think she was wanting us to bag, like, that whole yard up for way. I mean, we there's no way we could do it. I, I think really what she needs is she just needs some help. And um, she said, you know, she's going to get all of her grandkids and stuff like that, and she'll let us know. And um, But anyways, that was that was tough. That was tough. But we, we discussed it with her and tried, tried working out some partial of the work to see if we can help and She'll call us tomorrow and we'll see. But, uh, you know, you can't help everyone, and some people are in a tough bind. We also found out that um, it wasn't the city. It was the insurance that got a hold of her and said that her property was a danger, and they were going to not insure her anymore. And if they don't insure her, then she incurs a bunch of costs as well. So I think it would be different if it was the city um, also. But anyways, if she calls us, we'll help her out. Let you know, maybe I can film it at that time, but it's the end of the day and we're going home. 